Best Places to Visit in Ireland Ireland's rich culture, enchanting green landscapes and friendly locals are just a few reasons why so many travellers make the journey to this island country. But with so many cities, charming small towns and countryside wonders to choose from, it may be hard to decide exactly what should be on your itinerary. We took into account sights, adventure, food and culture, plus expert opinions and traveller sentiment to determine the best places to visit in Ireland. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best places to visit in Ireland. Wait till you see the number 2 that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Trip Extreme for more awesome top 10s and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So as I say in Ireland, let's cut to the chase. At number 10, it's Connemara National Park. Expect awe-inspiring scenery everywhere you turn when you visit this 5,000-acre national park during the warmer months. Connemara National Park is home to a four mountain ranges plus woodlands, grasslands, heaths, wild undeveloped flatlands and bogs, wetlands, that you can explore via one of several trails. To get a good overview of the park's diverse scenery, hike the Diamond Hill Paths, the Kong and Clonborough Forest Trail and the Killary Harbour Coastal Walk. The latter is where you'll find Ireland's only fjord. And at number 9, Iverar Peninsula. This peninsula in County Kerry is best known for featuring the world-famous Ring of Kerry, a scenic drive that circles around the entire peninsula. Along the way, visitors will enjoy truly spectacular scenery both on the coast and inland. Can't miss stops include Ladies View, Ross Bay Strand, Derrynane Beach and the Gap of Dunlow. Travellers should also save time for visiting some of the peninsula's picturesque small towns and castles, which are both developed and abandoned. That's the castles, of course. At number 8, Cliffs of Moher. The Cliffs of Moher are Ireland's most popular tourist attraction, welcoming more than one million visitors each year. In fact, the cliffs are so popular that cities situated more than 100 miles away often offer day-long tours to the attraction. Once you lay eyes on this site, you'll understand why so many people travel hours to gaze at it. Measuring 5 miles long and more than 700 feet tall, the cliffs provide breathtaking views of Galway Bay, parts of Connemara National Park and the Aran Islands on a clear day. At 7, it's Limerick. Dubbed the first Irish city of culture, Limerick boasts plenty to do for its residents and visitors. King John's Castle and St Mary's Cathedral are both lauded for their striking architecture, while the Hunt Museum and the Limerick City Gallery of Art offer enviable art collections. There are also pretty parks to peruse, including the People's Park and, if you're willing to drive 12 miles southwest of the city, Currachase Forest Park. In at 6, Kilkenny. Kilkenny offers a hearty amount of historical attractions for travellers to explore. This is largely thanks to the town's prior distinction of being the medieval capital of Ireland, which today lives on the medieval mile, Kilkenny's top attraction. Within the medieval mile, you'll find several interesting sites, such as Kilkenny Castle, St Canice's Cathedral and the Medieval Mile Museum. This historic part of town is also home to the Smithix experience, where you can learn more about how one of Ireland's most popular ales is brewed. Ah, nice pint of ale. At number five, it's Aran Islands. Travellers keen on getting a taste of what Old Ireland looked and felt like should consider visiting the Aran Islands, Accessible by ferry or plane from Roosevelt and Doolin on Ireland's western coast, the Aran Islands feature important historical sites and lots of untouched landscapes. Plus, Irish is widely spoken, providing an authentic cultural experience, if you can understand them. 
Though all three islands offer noteworthy sites, plan on spending the bulk of your time on Innis Moor, where UNESCO World Heritage listed Dun Alogasa is located. Number 4. Cork After Dublin, Cork is Ireland's largest city. Located at the southern end of the country, this city of more than 200,000 residents is famous for being home to the Blarney Stone. According to local legend, the stone will grant you the gift of eloquence if you dare kiss it. Cork is also where you'll find 18th and 19th century churches, the Cork City Jail, a former prison converted into a museum, and lush Fitzgerald Park, among other noteworthy attractions. Next up at number 3, Killarney. For the quintessential Irish countryside experience, travel to Killarney. The town is surrounded by evergreen hills and valley on all sides, affording plenty of opportunities to become one with nature. Visitors gravitate toward Killarney National Park, which features Ireland's highest mountain range, McGillicuddy's Reeks. If you aren't much of a hiker, you could still enjoy the scenic lakes or visit one of Killarney's centuries old churches or castles. And now at number 2, Galway. Galway offers the best of both worlds for travellers. City slickers can revel in Galway's relatively light but palpable bustle, while outdoor lovers can venture outside the city to see many natural attractions, including the Salt Hill Promenade and Wild Atlantic Way, a scenic route that runs straight through Galway. If you prefer to stay local, stroll through the lively Latin Quarter, then check out historical attractions like the Spanish Arch and St. Nicholas's Collegiate Church. And finally, at number one, Dublin. If you only have time to visit one place in Ireland, go to Dublin. Not only is Dublin the country's hub for politics, culture and music, but it also offers easy access to Blarney Castle, one of Ireland's top points of interest. While here, do as the Irish do and savour some brews either as a popular Black Guinness storehouse or at the always exuberant Temple Bar. And there you have the top 10 best places to visit in good old Ireland. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Trip Extreme for more fantastic top 10 lists. I'm off for a pint of the black stuff. See you next time.